More about the death of a baby on the 405 freeway. We can confirm the incident is one of three deadly crime scenes stretching from Woodland Hills to Redondo Beach that are all connected. Police have now identified the suspect. They also say she pushed both her children out of a moving car after murdering her boyfriend. Eyewitness News reporter Sophie Flay is live in Van Nuys with the disturbing details. Sophie. Colleen, it's still unclear if the boyfriend is the father of the baby girl who died. LAPD is still awaiting those DNA results, but here's what they've learned in the last 24 hours. Police say the mother of an eight month old baby and a nine year old girl stabbed her partner in their apartment at 340 Monday morning in Woodland Hills. The mother and suspect identified as 34 year old Danielle Johnson. The man stabbed 29 year old Jalen Chaney, according to a coroner's report. Police say they were living together and are not married. Eyewitness News has learned the nine year old is an eyewitness to the stabbing death at that Woodland Hills apartment. There's surveillance video showing the suspect leaving the apartment complex with two kids. At around 4 a.m., the young girls were pushed out of the car by their mother on the 405 freeway, according to LAPD. The nine year old girl was holding the baby at that time when she was ejected from the vehicle. Um, as she hit the roadway, she injured herself and she let go of the infant being in the middle of the freeway. The baby was hit by a car and pronounced dead at the scene. The nine year old taken to a hospital. The, the surviving child, I just can't get her out of my mind. And I, I can see her little face and I feel very badly. And at 5 a.m., Johnson was found dead inside her car, a dark colored Porsche Cayenne, after smashing into a tree in Redondo Beach. Next door neighbors at the Woodland Hills apartment building said they heard yelling in the middle of the night. And while leaving for work Monday morning, this neighbor saw their door was wide open. There was blood on the floor leading into their apartment and then a trail of it in the hallway leading up to the elevator. And I saw some blood on the walls. That little girl obviously saw more than she, she ever should have seen in any, any life yesterday. So. I just hope someone's taking care of her because she's going to need it. And LAPD tells us that that nine year old girl is with the Department of Child and Family Services. They have identified their father, but that's all that they've given us as for now. Live in Van Nuys, Sophie Flay, ABC 7 Eyewitness News. Hello, I'm Mark Brown. Get more great information about the mother who pushed her children out onto the busy 405 freeway. Police have learned that uh, she was heavy into astrology and her social media accounts were full of doomsday messages as the eclipse approached. And KKL News reporter Tom Wade is live in Woodland Hills now. Tom, everyone wants to know who could do all of this and, and why are we getting closer to learning? Yeah, absolutely, Pat. I think everyone wants to try to wrap their minds around how a mother could do the things that she did. All of this killing spree beginning here at this apartment complex at Woodland Hills and then ending on the 405. We may never know why this woman did what she did, but we are getting a better look into her mindset in the days and hours leading up to the crimes. Danielle Johnson, seen here for the first time since carrying out her horrific, murderous rampage, tossing her baby and nine-year-old child onto the freeway, stabbing her boyfriend to death, and then killing herself in a crash. All of it happening in the early hours of Monday morning. Neighbors of the victims are still reeling. To do what she did the way that she did it, yeah, it was, it's just awful. Along with Johnson's photo, we're also getting our first look at her life on social media, which police say is a focus now of the investigation. On Friday, just two days before her killing spree, Johnson posted on X, wake up, wake up. The apocalypse is here. Everyone who has ears, listen. Your time to choose what you believe is now. On her website, Johnson described herself as an astrologer and an energy healer. Johnson appeared obsessed with the eclipse, posting about it multiple times. Times, calling it the epitome of spiritual warfare and urging people to pick a side as the world is changing. She also reposted anti-Semitic images and anti-Semitic tropes about Jewish people owning Hollywood and promoting pedophilia. We didn't realize how mentally unstable she was. A lot of anti-Semitic remarks, especially in Hollywood, calling Hollywood execs pedophiles. You know, pedophiles. Detectives are reviewing all of Johnson's posts, but right now they are not connecting the eclipse and her online rants about it to the murders.
I feel so bad as I'm sure everyone does for the infant and especially for the daughter that survived it. Johnson's inexplicable rampage began early Monday morning here at her Woodland Hills apartment complex. Detectives say she got into an argument with her boyfriend, 29 year old Jalen Allen Cheney, which ended with her stabbing him to death. She then took her two daughters, an eight month old baby and nine year old, rammed the gate in her garage and took off down the 405. She stopped her SUV in Culver City and pushed her baby daughter and nine-year-old out onto the freeway. The infant was hit and killed. The nine-year-old who witnessed the horrific stabbing survived with only minor injuries. Johnson kept driving. She ended up in Redondo Beach where she slammed into a tree. Police say she was speeding at about 100 miles per hour during the impact, which they are investigating as a suicide. Oh, oh, it's horrible, horrible. And that is pretty much the universal reaction to this awful story. There were no calls for service ever at this apartment building for the couple. The head of the homicide unit investigating this case is calling this one of the worst homicide investigations in LA history. Reporting live in Woodland Hills, I'm Tom Waite, KCAL News.